It is the UCI mountain bike cross country Olympic World Cup. It's the first one of 2023 and they are go. Who is going to lead them up this climb? It's Schwarzbar down the middle. Schwarzbar heads up the climb. Sangley is in close contention. Jordan Saru slots in behind him as they leave the start line and out onto this start loop for the first time. Just one start loop today. And, and there's crash at the already, back already here in the back of the field. You see also here the asphalt, it's slippery now in the wet, wet conditions. Well, he'll be early to the party anyway after that disappointing start. As we see that crash right in the middle of it, yeah, so he was involved in that. He's going to try to... Christopher Blevins there on number 19. Now, 19 position for Blevins and someone who, if this rain keeps up, Bart, we could well see come to the front. Loves a wet race. He does. <laughs> As we saw in snowshoe. I'm wondering how slippery this is, actually, oh, these uh, parts of the course. Yeah. So basically, this Nova Mesto Namorave course, perhaps best, whether it's a climb or a descent, best summed up by those tricky routes that you can see everywhere. And it's Martins Blooms with the number 26 on his back, who's closing that chasing. Ah, oh, small mistake. I oh. think it's Sam Case oh. in oh. that oh. corner. And he they're all the off behind route. him. Yep. I wonder if Schwarzbar has clocked that, if he will now accelerate. It's carnage behind him. Yeah, I mean, there's a big road, actually, in that corner. And if you hit it wrong, yeah, then you go off. Somebody definitely has. It was seven gates, what I saw. I was just about to ask you, Bart, if we'll see these conditions play a part, and, and they already yeah, are. Yeah, you have to be concentrated all the time, and, and in these conditions even more. And it's, it, it's impressive how Luca Schwarzbauer is pushing, actually, from the start on. You didn't look that happy out there in the rain. Uh, the rain is actually really cold. <laughs> <laughs> the, the water here, I don't know, just uh, another level. It's, it's cold. It is cold, but these guys out front is now a group of three. They've brought him back in. They've brought Schwarzbar, excuse me, back in on the number 12. Yeah, Joshua Debo, what a ride so far for him. Second place, he is a group of five. Sam Case just a little bit off, the sixth in this race. Doesn't look too worried just yet, though, yeah, does he? Not worried at all, it's true. Pitcock is coming to the front. That little group behind him isn't far behind either with Jordan Saru and Luca Brido in it. Yeah, and also, I mean, the top ten, that's uh, still very uh, close together. Pierre de Fromont, 20 seconds off. To make sure that all these bikes are absolutely perfect. Almost a motorsport style approach to what goes on now. Yeah. That's the way also how the mechanics are working on these bikes. Oh. Every day again. That's a good reach to the back of that bit. And then over to the inside line, great to see. Cross country racing has never looked better. Yeah, but not waiting for him. Nope. Even here on the flat, he's pushing hard to get away, try to get away. What doesn't work, what did, what doesn't work out so far. Inside lining in here for Joshua Debo. And then on the wet tarmac, always slippery. Sure, looks like he's having a good dig at the front of this one now. He's maybe just up on the pace slightly. And have a look at this part of the course. Expert climb one. Oh, yeah. Oh, and now Pitcock's off and running. So, if the Frenchman can get up here cleanly, he can ride himself back uh, into contention. It looks like that. Pitcock's yeah, still it running. Helps. It helps him a little bit to close that gap. There they are. There he is. He's back. Guess who's back? <laughs> yeah. Joshua Debo is back. And he's back in the wheel of Tom Pitcock. If you see that look over his shoulder, yeah. and then the rider is yeah. there again. He knew it. Interesting. Pitcock's accelerating. That's why hold back a little bit, and that avoids the, the, the pinch flex. Pitcock just accelerates. Oh! Tom Pitcock is down, and Joshua Debo goes into the lead of the race. The French rider for Rock Rider Ford is in the lead as we come down for the Cannondale steps. He will not need two invitations at this one. Where is Pitcock? He's Here up. Here he comes. Now, now we're going to see something. What does he do? Joshua Dubo leading this race. Bart, as a racer, what do you do now? Ha, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and here we see it again. Bart Just his front wheel slides away. Foot out, but he went down. Yep, down, down. You don't see it that often of him. 
I just wonder if there's maybe some more injuries to that uh, left leg of Pidcock. He seems to have a glance down at it every now and again. Is it hit to his leg or to his bike? Uh, Ela Roar, not great, but as yeah. they've come past us, he stayed down over the handlebars and seems to be railing him back in again. Yep, you can see it there. It's never nice if you go down. Well, they can see him at the bottom of this bit, the bottom but of the wood. George Schwedibo looks strong to me. He does, doesn't he? He really looks strong to me. Listen to the noise. <laughs> One of the noisiest crowds off the UCI Mountain Bike World Series. Probably he has taken some uh, gels with him, maybe, so what we haven't seen when he was taking it. But at least... Oh, he's been busy, Bart. <laughs> <laughs> he has been thinking about it. He's had a busy afternoon as they head out onto the final lap I mean, now. In these conditions, probably it's not a problem for most of the riders because you don't drink that much, but at least you need to have your, your sugars, your fast sugars, your energy for, for the last few laps. But uh, for Joshua Bo, it seems to be that it's not necessary today. But I think we have, when it comes down to a sprint, you know as well how strong Thomas Pitcock is. Yeah, but as we it's said, almost unbeatable. Yeah, as we said to Bo, ride him with this kind of confidence in through this rock section for the last time. See if Lee does it. I think Josh Reddy Bo has to be in the first position when it comes. Well, it has to be on that turning point yeah, yeah, with one yeah. kilometer to go. That sign. Well, that Pidcock, last steep Pidcock climb. maybe showed his hand at that short track race in the post race interview where he said it was whoever made that left hander in the arena first was always going to win it and maybe that's all Debo needs to all in but he needs to know which tactics he has to use quiet day for the mechanics on the right hand side there but they have a ringside seat to this now Here Pidcock go. goes now Pidcock goes is it going to be enough has Tom Pidcock played cat and mouse long enough for Joshua Debo can Debo punch back he does. It looks like he can, Bart. It looks like he's got this one covered. Pidcock looks round. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. That <laughs> one didn't work. He's strong. He's got the first position, but he's not. Crucially, he has not dropped Joshua Debo. No, but to, to be in the right position, not over here, but a little bit further on the top of the next climb, the last climb of this course, crucial. Crucial. Yes. And just, yep, yeah, look. Very Just slow in that stalling corner. Stalling a little bit in that corner, but Evers in there. Tom Pidcock doesn't like I'm, it. I'm wondering if they're taking uh, different lines now at the bottom. Yeah, we'll have options. to see now. Inside, outside. Who's going to go where? Oh, this one is fascinating. Both inside. Ringside seats. Both inside. There's still a little bit of space to overtake each other, but it comes down. Pitcock going now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another yeah. sprint of him to the top of this climb. A little bit of a gap. Not that much, but it's... It's opening. It is opening on Dubot. There he is. Not that far off, but it's six seconds. Not that far away, but it's enough. We've seen these races come down to hundreds of a second before. Pidcock, down over the jumps, throws the back end out, why not? He's done enough today. Tom Pidcock rounds the right-hander on the way into the Vichoshina Arena. Joshua Debo takes the same corner, Pidcock checks over his shoulder, the rain continues to fall. Here in Novo Mesto, Namarave, Tom Pidcock, he had to do this one the hard way. And it was a man he wouldn't have been expected to, who was asking him the questions. He rounds the left. The long left-hand corner and a breathless day of racing in Nuvo Mesto Namorave comes to an end with Tom Pidcock winning five on the bounce, taking the hat-trick of elite World Cup cross-country Olympic wins. He celebrates never in doubt. Tom Pidcock takes the win in the Czech Republic at round one, straight off the bike. Tom Pickcock, that is how you do it. Joshua Debo, the ride of his career. Asked so many questions of Tom Pidcock. Pidcock ultimately, though, had the, the answers. And the behind place. him, Saru. Oh, Nino Schurter took it. Saru could not do enough to beat Nino Schurter. Schurter third on the podium.
Joshua Dubo has to be filled in as to what just happened. Uh, yeah, today was a hard race, honestly. Uh, the conditions were super tricky, you know. We haven't ridden at all in the rain. A uh, short track, but you know, there's no roots in that race. Um, so yeah, it was, it was tricky. I think my tyres were a bit hard. I was uh, struggling a bit for, on the uh, on the routes, but uh, yeah, it's nice to uh, to win in the end. Tom Pedcock then from the UK, nine Andorran resident, riding for the Ineos Grenadiers, wearing the European Champions jersey, makes it two wins in the weekend in the short track and then the cross country Olympic a hat trick of wins here in Nova Mesto Namarave for him five on the bounce if you include the under 23 races right then let's take a look at what that does for the overall Thomas Pidcock 330 points to the good Joshua Debo in second 111 back off Amino of Scherter third Jordan Saru fourth Lucas Schwartzbar up into fifth just 150 off Tom Pidcock